to confirm that jump off then. It'll be between Vital and Alan Paul Apollo for this year's Silk Cut Derby and the £30,000 first prize. Well, there's only one man to tell you about a jump off really in the Derby. Harvey Smith, who's, uh, my goodness, nearly got there this year apart from a time fault and four faults. You faced two, Harvey. You've won them both back in the 70s? Yeah, um, it's similar. It's the same course every year for the jump off. Um, they might put it up a little bit because anybody who jumps two clear rounds gets an extra £5,000, so that's a, a good incentive. So the, I should think the course builder will be on for putting the fences up a bit, so I wouldn't imagine time coming into it too much. It's uh, more of accuracy and they've got to jump them clean. But it's as much about the mind as fences and time clocks and everything else. I mean, for one minute, Joe Jury was sitting here thinking, I've got the 30th derby, I've got £30,000, and all of a sudden, Nick Skelton's in again, he's trying to go for four. The pressures, what were they like when you faced them? Uh, well, it was similar. I mean, it wasn't going for the same sort of money. I mean, when I won it first time with Matty Brown, it was £2,000. Um, and I remember that year when I drove home into the yard, I learnt that they'd taken it off me for being obscene to the judges. So. <laughs> Wasn't that against Steve Hadley? Uh, yeah, but I mean, uh, the Devil's Dyke's still in again. If, if they put that up going in, uh, then you've got a problem. It is hard to jump then, a little bit higher. It's a little bit lower this year, and a lot more people have jumped it. Do you think that's right? I think so, yeah, because one year it, they got it too big, and, and I mean, there was only one horse jumped it all class. Well, to me, if you get 40 good horses going around an arena and only one can jump the fence, Certainly, it's got to be modified a little bit. What have you felt about the jumping in this year's derby? Uh, I thought there's been some very good jumping. Uh, there's been maybe a few too many horses in it. I think maybe a few of a lesser grade that shouldn't have really been in there. But uh, everybody's enjoyed it. It's been beautiful weather, beautiful day, and the ground's real. So. Well, you say that, but the cream of the jumping has been superb, hasn't it? Oh, it has really. Uh, you, you couldn't fault this at all this week. I mean. Uh, and it's worked hard on the ground. I mean, a lot of race courses wouldn't have going like this place has. And I mean, when you see ground in a big area like this, the race courses have got no, no excuses. They should have them all like this. Let's think about the two horses, Vital and Apollo, and the two riders, Joe Cherry and Nick. How do they compare? Well, you see, the, there you go again, the two old campaigners. I mean, the horses have a lot of miles on the clock. Um, Apollo, he'd be, what, 16 now? And he's, he's done a fantastic job all season for Nick, but Nick, in all fairness, has saved him. He knows that there's this £30,000 £30, prize. It's like saving horse for the Grand National or for the Derby. He knows full well that that horse can go well in it. So he's saved him all year for it. He hasn't overjumped him. And uh, I really think Nick will nearly take it again. Mm. Cheery, of course. I mean, it's been a remarkable story since he would have jumped the truck as a Hungarian cheek horse rider and comes here, and the man's gone on and on and on. Yeah, he's gone on and on and on, and uh, vital now. He's got to 12 years old, and uh, he's a lot of miles on the clock as well, but uh, I, I should nearly edge my bet for the jump off to uh, Apollo. Right. Well, however you're sticking your neck out, we'll see what happens. It's going to be a great jump off. They're ready here on this lovely afternoon. Joe Cheery is there in the tunnel. You can have the best seat now, so you can stay here if you like, as long as you don't get away in the camera. Will do. Thank you.